In this video you can see how a Ukrainian tank destroys the enemy's fortified position in a once peaceful house. The enemy has taken root in the buildings on the outskirts of Bachman and his tank is working directly on this position. Interestingly, the tank approached the enemy's position and the enemy could not hit the Ukrainian tank. It turned out that they did not have anti-tank missiles. Here, too, the Russians tried to seize Ukrainian positions with tanks and armored vehicles. The tank's primary role is to destroy enemy fortifications to allow infantry to move and take positions. This is a classic situation in this war that occurs every day. But thanks to American and British Javelin missiles and Ukrainian legislation, spear-launched anti-tank missile systems that easily destroy Russian tanks can be called tank killers in the Ukrainian war. With their help, hundreds of tanks have been and are still being destroyed to this day. When the Ukrainian infantry holds the javelin in its hands, it is not afraid of any tanks. It only takes a few seconds to lock onto the target and a second to keep pressing the launch button. Javelin missiles defeat their own targets. Not even a single tank can withstand this missile attack. See how much fun it is destroying Russian tanks. Sometimes the turret flies to a height of several tens of meters and the tank is blown up by the explosion of the ammunition. It is useless to break through enemy defenses, which is why Ukrainian troops on the battlefield encounter Russian tanks with harpoon missiles, which are cheaper than tanks and more effective in defense. Dollars, while a T-72 tank costs at least $3 million, a profitable exchange for Ukraine. The Russian tank has no way of defending itself against the harpoon or making it a good example of how a tank's reactive armor renders the harpoon missile useless. With the Russian tank moving on the battlefield, the dynamic cover worked, but regardless, the tank broke and caught fire, the driver kept hiding behind the trees. However, he soon had to flee, leaving behind a tank which was then blown up by the explosion of the foreign ammunition. The Russians equip almost all their tanks with such grills and attach them to the turrets that hold them so that the grills somehow neutralize the effect of Javelin or m long missiles hitting the tanks with cumulative jets, but this network also turns out to be useless. The internet is full of pictures of destroyed tanks with bars on their turrets, not just tanks, but any armored vehicle can easily destroy a lance. The Pike here is a soldier of the Ukrainian army, destroying a Russian tank from an ambush. This is a very good melee attack, but here there were also cases of ambush attacks near Ubladar. Russian tanks drove into the road with mines, many armored vehicles were destroyed by mines. The New York Times called it the most destructive Russian tank operation of the war, with over 150 units. Various armored vehicles destroyed the main entrance to the city of Ubladar. Many armored vehicles were also destroyed by drone artillery and javelin missiles after Russia dispatched a special UR-77 meteorite disposal vehicle. However, the plane was most likely ambushed by harpoon rockets and then burst into flames and the R-77 that exploded had special explosive ammunition, the explosion was catastrophic. The aircraft uses projectiles that create enhanced shock waves. For example, look at the work this plane did on Mary's mast last year. The special projectile was thrown to the desired distance and, due to the strong pressure of all the mines, created a powerful blast wave in this area detonated. After that the infantry and armored vehicles were free to move there, but in our case, the Ukrainians somehow managed to seize the vehicles before they could complete their task, and another Russian defense attempt failed again. There is already the famous Mary Pole videotape, in which a harpoon rocket supposedly misses a Russian T-72 tank. This case has been widely discussed by many military experts. The minimum effective range of the n long missile is over 100 meters. However, if the target is too close, the missiles will not activate, the weapon must be used correctly here, whereas it is more correct to use mortars. The Soviet RPG-7 anti-tank spear is guaranteed to destroy Russian armor if used correctly. As seen in this famous video footage, the lance damage in the spine of the tank is in one piece, such tanks are no longer restored, sometimes tanks are torn apart. According to some sections of the Ukrainian military, the harpoons can even destroy low-flying helicopters. We caught the accident on video. 
Unfortunately, we cannot confirm that it is a Harpoon rocket. It is impossible to understand which missile was fired from the helicopter. We know that the Ukrainian army used weapons that were more suitable for this purpose because the British Star Tube and the Ukrainian American Stinger also used the Soviet SA-18 Grouse Complex. You can see it in action in this video, but we also know that the Ukrainian military is very smart, so it's not surprising that they shot down helicopters with harpoon missiles during the Russian invasion of Ukraine. The huge role that the Western Allies could attribute to them even before the offensive, when the Russians advanced on Kiev at Mon Collins and the Ukrainian army ambushed this column, the Russians lost hundreds and hundreds of units of various military armored vehicles. They are forced to recognize the Javelin missile system as an ingenious military invention because of its effectiveness and ease of use. The Javelin system consists of two missile components, and the missile launcher is the weapon. And forget that it uses a secret infrared imaging path and accepts complex targets equipped with a screen and a joystick that allows the user to aim the missile at the target. The Javelin missile has a range of up to 2.5 kilometers and can penetrate armor up to 600 millimeters, which allows it to engage both stationary and moving targets, including urban environments. Rockets can be fired from a variety of positions, including lying down or from behind. Thank you that's the end of this video hope you enjoy it make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss our new content see you soon.